All right, so I was just listening to this woman saying, you know, she's successful and she's a homeowner, but she doesn't like all the things that come with being a homeowner. She doesn't like taking out the garbage. She doesn't like, you know, repainting the house or a bunch of DIY stuff. She doesn't like, you know, when the sink is broken and, you know, taking the garbage out to the curb and doing the grass and putting salt out, you know, when it snows and there's ice. Guess who likes doing that kind of stuff? I do, you know. <laughs> I like doing that kind of stuff. I like figuring things out, you know. Uh, and there's this big thing about all these, you know, females who are saying that buying a home is a scam and uh, a lot of these women are single, of course, because a lot of women are single because there's just not enough men. But then a lot of women are choosing to be single. And then there is a lot of men that are in hiding. They're just like, we, we don't want to be bothered with you women because, you know, the entitlement and all that other stuff that's going around with American women. Uh, so they're successful. They're buying these houses, but they don't want to do all the projects. But then guess who they have to hire to come and do all these projects? Because there are not a lot of women who want to be plumbers and, you know, refrigerator techs and all that. They have to hire us. You know, people like me, uh, I fix refrigerators, who will come in, look at your refrigerator and diagnose it and, and say, hey, that's going to be 600 bucks. And you're just like, uh, I don't want to pay. You know, it's just like, OK, well, then your refrigerator is going to stay the way it is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you ladies, you got a problem. You got a big problem. And some of it's not your fault. You were born a woman. So this puts you, I mean, in the city, there's 14 to one, 14 women to one man. So that's not your fault, you know. But uh, uh, nonetheless, you know, then there's the other thing of, you know, all the women who took over the jobs and kicked all the men out. Get out. You know, we don't want to hire you here. The HR offices are filled with women. So when they see a man come in there and they don't want him to work in there, they're just like, no, you even got the men doing that to the men now. So a lot of these jobs are dominated by women. And then they're telling all the guys, you guys are brokies. It's like you took all the jobs. You control HR. You kicked all the men out. Some companies have gotten sued for this, like Yahoo. There's just like all women in, all men out. And then the production went into the tank. So, you know, this is, um, you know, it's bad for you women. And, you know, a lot of you women are starting to wake up. You're less like buying a house is a scam, you know, because a lot of you want to be soft women, but you can't be, uh, you know, when you buy a house and you're single, you know, we're going to run out your pockets. You know, the guy who comes over and fixes your sink, he's going to run out your pockets. And they're not going to feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't go, well, you're a woman. I should, you know, and women do this all the time. Take it easy on me. I'm like, no, because when you go to work, you want to be paid top dollar. You went to work. You complained about men. You jumped on the Me Too movement. You kicked all the men out of the office and corporate jobs. They're scared now. There's no open door policy. They can't do it. Men are afraid of you. There's no more company softball, no more company outings and stuff. Men are scared. But when men buckle down and do the jobs that we really know how to do and we're good at it and we like doing those, when we're on the outside now, we can't walk into the office and get a job. We're on the outside. We have to get it out the mud, literally. And you want us to take it easy on you? You want us to lower the price because you have a pair of protrusions? The answer is absolutely not. No. No, I'm college educated. I have a four-year degree, health administration. I walk into one of these offices and guess who looks at me crazy? All the women. So I go out here and I'm like, all right, I'm going to sling refrigerators. And when it comes to selling you refrigerator, can you take it easy? No. No. The price is what it is, ma'am. Because this is how I have to live. You made your move in the office. I have to come out here in the cold and snow and deal with it in the dirt and the muck. Fine. It is what it is. But don't ask me to lower the price. 
Don't ask me what's my best price. Don't ask me to be nice to you because you're a woman. That does absolutely nothing for me. My price is what it is, and the world is what it is, ladies. This is how it's going to go. You got your office. We got the outside, and this is what it is.